yeah, we're going to start in standing. Standing on our mat with our feet firmly planted under our hips. A micro bend in our knees and our shoulders stacked on top. Taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. Noticing how the muscles soften in our faces and shoulders. Noticing how our awareness comes to our breath. And allowing our breath to assume its natural rhythm in and out through the nose. Just getting a sense of the speed and the depth, not trying to change it, just being aware of it. Running from head to toe, noticing the energy or mood of the body, how we might be feeling in this moment. Perhaps noticing areas of lightness or heaviness. Bringing our awareness back to the breath. Taking a moment to set an intention with a thought about our energy, the vibrations that we put out to the universe. Keeping in mind that if we want to feel a certain way, like loving, compassionate, patient, we need to put those vibrations out to the universe. We need to give love. We need to give patience and kindness and tolerance in order to get them back. What we put out will come back to us. So perhaps we keep that in mind for our intention setting today. Bringing our awareness back to the space around us. Opening our feet a little bit wider and we'll flow through our warming squat to forward fold sequence. Inhaling, reaching our arms up, palms together. Sinking through Malasana squat. Inhaling to forward fold. Exhale, rolling up like ragdolls, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders, and head. We repeat the sequence, matching our movements to our breath, slowly expanding as we warm up, finding our fluid motion, and noticing the heat we generate along the way. Noticing the physical, physical sensations in the back of the body, the hips, the abdomen. Noticing the pauses at the top and bottom, those moments of stillness and calm. Running through two more.
we meet back up in our standing mountain pose, hands to heart center when we get there. Coming to the tops of our mats, and we'll step back into a crescent lunge, alternating left and right, with arm reaches above our shoulders as we inhale back to our crescent lunge, Exhale, back to standing. Inhale, opposite side. Reaching up, lengthening the sides of our bodies. Exhale, back to center. Again, matching the rhythm of our movement to our breath. Building awareness and stability. Keeping our front knee tracked over our ankle. And we'll do two more each side. back to center, taking a deep breath in between, sighing it out. And we'll add a 90 degree leg here, stepping back into crescent lunge, staying on the same leg. So bringing our left leg up 90 degrees, inhaling, we step back, we inhale, reaching up, we exhale back to our 90 degree leg. Inhale, stepping back. Exhale, 90 degree left leg. Finding our flow, somewhere to gaze at. Grounding of our front foot. Building stability through instability. Generating heat in our glutes and our quads. Moving slowly with purpose as possible. Three more. Coming back to center, let's roll out the right foot. Maybe we give our legs a shake and then we'll set up for the next side. Hands to heart center. Bringing our right knee up, flexing the foot. And when we're ready, we step back, crescent lunge, inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, we coming back to center, keeping the foot flexed, finding that somewhere to gaze at, or perhaps digging into a mantra that keeps us strong, stable, and unwavering.
We come back to center. We wiggle that out, rolling the ankles, crunching the toes, maybe shaking. We reset at the top of our mat. And we're going to add a warrior three. So creating a little bit of space back from the top of our mats. Once again, we'll do a 90 degree leg, floating it back to a tabletop, reaching our arms forward and our left leg back. So bringing our hands to heart center to start. Left leg comes back up, flexing the foot. We float the left leg, we tilt forward, hinging and reaching, hips stay parallel to the floor. We come back. We come into our warrior three, and back to standing 90 degree leg. Once again, floating to the rhythm of our breath. Building strength and stability in our outer hip, our glute and our quadricep. Stillness in our minds as we connect to our physical movements and sensations. Digging into our breath, letting it be our anchor. And we come back to center, wiggling that out. Yay for that. Taking a deep breath in between before we set up for the other side. Whatever micro movements might feel good in the meantime. And when we're ready, we can bring our right foot off the floor, flexing the foot, leg to 90. And we hinge forward, floating our right leg back. Inhaling, reaching forward as possible. Exhaling back to standing, finding our flow. I am strong, I am sturdy, and I am stable. I am grounded in my breath. I am confident in my strength and in my stability. Two more. Finishing that, we rinse it out. Finding those micro movements that might feel good, sip of water as needed. Then we come back to the top of our mat when we're ready. <sighs> With our right hand, we're going to tap down towards our left foot or shin, lifting our right leg. So again, a modified warrior three. We can bring our hand to the earth, to our shin or whatnot, and then we bring our right leg back 
to center. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, standing. Working the outer edge of the left leg all the way around to the quadricep. Our movement, keeping a flat back, building stability and strength. Digging deep into our breath, in and out through the nose, to maintain inner calm. Let's go, three more is the goal. Beautiful. Shake that out when you finish. Good job. Noticing what's happening in the shin, the outer glute. We reset for the other side when we're ready. Lifting the left leg, reaching the left hand. Inhale, reaching. Coming into a pseudo warrior three. Exhale to standing. Seeing if we can continue to hover our left foot off the ground. If we need to tap down, we tap down. Constantly building our stability. Keeping our focus on our movements, our breath, and this moment. Finishing and shaking it out. Oh, let's give ourselves a good shake. No doubt the feet and the shins are feeling that. Shake it all out. Any wobbles that we weren't able to stabilize, just shake them out. We'll come back to center, centering ourselves on our mat. With our left leg up again at 90, we're going to step back into a reverse curtsy, 90, reverse curtsy, 90. We'll stay on the one side. Deep breath in between, sighing it out. And when we're ready, we find our right foot as our anchored leg. Inhale, lifting our left leg up, flexing the foot, hands to heart center. And we can step back into our reverse curtsy, inhaling back to center. Exhale, send it back. Alternating our breath as suits us. Perhaps we're exhaling back to center. We're inhale, stepping back. Feeling what's happening in the outer edge of the right glute and hip. Checking in with the muscles and all the strength and stability we're building. Two more. Two 
keeping that left leg up at 90, bringing it into a tree pose without tweaking our spine, holding here. Acknowledging the sensations in our right foot. Knowing we won't be here for forever. Good. Releasing out of that. Shaking it out, rinsing it out. Whatever wobbles we're dealing with, let them go through us. No doubt the headspace we create today will help resolve and process whatever we're dealing with. We do our best maintaining presence in the moment and inner calm. Focusing now on the strength and stability of our left leg. We lift our right leg up and we step back, reverse curtsy. Inhaling and exhaling with our movements. With purpose. To whatever range of motion feels accessible for us today, keeps us stable, keeps us building. Two more. Coming back to center, keeping our leg at 90. We bring it into our tree pose without shifting our spine. Finding somewhere to gaze at. Bringing our awareness to the breath. Palms squeezing together, shoulders are lowered away from our ears. And we release out of that, giving the feet a little wiggle, maybe the wrists, pointing, flexing. Beautiful. We're going to squat left to right. So again, sip of water as needed. <laughs> or AC. <laughs> left leg comes up. And we're going to step out to the side. Lateral lunge. Inhale to standing. Exhale, lateral lunge, flat back. Torso is lifted. I can see your beautiful faces. Nice. Controlled with purpose, building strength and stability, feeling the grounding through our right leg and foot. Hands at our, ha hands at our heart, hands at our hips, or wherever feels like it'll help stabilize us the most. Good, finding that pause at the top and bottom where we build that strength and resilience. Three more. And this 
next one, we'll hold down in our high lunge. Hold here, bring the arms parallel to the floor, chest is drawn through, flat back. Yummy. Three, two, last big breath. And we come to standing however we get there. Calm and steady. Deep breath in between, we sigh it out. And we'll lift our right leg and we'll do the same thing. Flexing the foot, finding our stability and then stepping out when we're ready. Staying high, flat back, torso drawn through. Slow and with purpose, noticing those pauses, celebrating any gains we're making. Three more. And this last one will hold down in our high lunge, bringing our arms parallel to the floor, lifting our chest, lifting our gaze, flat back, feeling the heat through the inner thigh, the outer glute, the quadricep, maybe even across the upper back, drawing the shoulder blades in towards the spine. For three, For two, last big breath. Ah, and we come back to standing however we get there, shaking it out on the way, rinsing with micro movements and a sip of water. Good. Coming back into a squat, and we're gonna hold and pulse as an option. So, feet are somewhat parallel. We can see our toes beyond our knees, our hips are shifted back, our arms are floating forward, tall torso. We have length from the tailbone through to the crown of our head. We have the option to hold here, and we have the option to pulse. Checking in with the sensations, with our breath, the heat we're generating. Three, two, one, we forward fold, straightening the legs, yummy. Catching our breath, moving the energy through the legs. Checking in with the rhythm of our heart. And we'll slowly wiggle our feet outward so they're double hip width apart. 
We'll come back into our squat. So once again, checking in, the toes can be pointed out. The knees are stacked on top of our ankles. We can reach out or we can pull our hands to heart center. God, goddess, squat. Lightness in our toes. We have the option to pulse. Smiles in our faces as we move energy through. Congratulating ourselves for getting through this intense focus on our legs and our lower body. Noticing the rhythm of our heartbeats. The burn in our quads and our glutes. For three, four, two. And one more big breath. And we forward fold, straightening the legs, straightening the feet, hanging our heads heavy, yummy for that. Wiggling it out, moving the energy through. Bringing our left hand underneath our beautiful face and our right arm over top of our back, pressing into the earth opening into the left inner thigh, and all the way up the hamstring across the lower back into the glutes, reaching tall, feeling the energy connecting us to the universe between our hands, our fingertips, noticing all those little particles of energy that we're connected to and a part of. Good, bringing our right hand under our face, pressing into the earth and opening up. The left arm comes over our back, pressing to feel the opening of our inner thigh. Down the hamstrings, across the lower back. Up through our upper back and into our arms. Visualizing light entering our bodies and clearing blocked energy, leaving us feeling light and floating. Bringing our left hand down, resetting in the center. We have the option here to reach for our left leg, bringing our hands to wherever on the leg they connect naturally. Letting our heads hang heavy, feeling the opening down the back of the left leg. Gentle hug here, not overextending the back of the knee or the lower back. And breathing into any areas of discomfort, acknowledging them, being present with them, and noticing how they transform. Walking our hands to the other side as desired. What we do on one, we do on the other, or we stay in the center. Noticing how we might hold our tension differently on each side, being present with it and honoring the state of our body. Good, coming back to center. Inhaling, pressing our fingertips into the earth. Torso is flat, and we're going to pivot over to the right into our crescent lunge where we started. Inhale, reaching the arms up, finding length in our lower back and spine. Exhale, 
hands to heart center. We're going to hinge forward and come into a gentle twist, bringing the outer edge of the arm to the outer edge of the leg, flattening our back foot as needed for stability, gazing up over our floating elbow. I am stable. I am steadfast. I am strong. Feeling that gentle stretch of the outer hip and glute. Lengthening through the spine, pressing the elbow to find that length. When we come back to center, planting our hands, plank vinyasa. Elbows stay tucked into the sides of our bodies. We float down, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing, or cobra. And we'll float into a down dog when we're ready. Pedaling out the feet, one heel at a time, bending the knees, or finding stillness in the center. Gazing forward, coming up on the toes. Right foot comes back through to our crescent lunge. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We plant the back foot and we're going to pivot over to the left side. Crescent lunge. Inhale, reaching up. We're up on the toes of the back foot, which might be your right foot. Opposite side. Hands to heart center. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, we hinge forward, bringing the right elbow to the outer edge of the left leg. Gentle twist. Digging into our breath, letting it be our anchor. Inhaling back to center, planting the hands, plank, vinyasa. At our speed. And we meet up in down dog. Paddling it out, finding stillness, whatever our body desires. Gazing forward, coming up on the toes, we step through, left foot, crescent lunge, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart. We come back to center, God, goddess, squat. Inhale, reaching our arms out, palms facing up. Gentle expressions on our faces. Shoulders are rolled away from the ears. Abdomen is tucked in, tailbone is tucked under. Glutes are squeezed, we can see our toes. Beautiful. Forward fold, straightening the legs, hanging the head heavy, bringing the hands to the earth. We're gonna float our way to do some planks, abdominal exercises, finish off with a focus on our upper body. Wiggling our feet in, heels, toes, heels, toes. We'll lower ourselves down, we'll come into a plank, stepping back, hands under our chest, pressing into our shoulder blades. Torso is parallel to the floor, toes are together.
Good. Left knee comes into our chest. We're going to lift and lower, cross, lift, lower, cross, lift, lower, cross, lift, lower, cross. Feeling our abdomen fire up. Pressing into the shoulder blades to the best of our ability. For three, two, one more. And extend the left leg all the way back, single leg down dog. And we reset down dog. Yummy. Catching our breath. Gazing forward, we come back into our plank. We do the same thing with our right leg. Right knee comes in to our chest. We lower, we lift, we cross. We lower, we lift, we cross. Elbow, wrist, cross, elbow, wrist, cross. As we are able to do, we find some variation. We maintain our strength, our resilience, and our presence in this moment. For three, for two, one more. And we extend our right leg up. Single leg down dog. Resetting, bringing our feet together. And we can come into child's pose. Walking our hands out, sinking our hips back. Rinsing the wrists, shifting our hips. Whatever feels good. Help reset. through all fours, coming back into our plank. This time we can step our toes a bit wider for stability, maybe towards the outer edge of the mat. Torso again is parallel. We're pushing into our shoulder blades and our necks are loose. From here, we can do shoulder taps left to right, feeling the abdomen engage Minimizing sway, trying not to twist our spine, feeling the abdomen engage as slowly as we can do as we continue to build our strength, shifting our weight, building that stability through instability. Three, two, one, down dog. From here, we're gonna reach our right hand across the body towards the left leg. Perhaps on the outer edge of the knee, the calf or the ankle, stretching here. Keeping our heads hanging heavy, firmly planted with the left hand. And we replace the right hand on the ground. We reach our left arm towards the right leg. Calm, steady breathing in and out through the nose as possible. Good. We come into a plank one last time. 
walking the hands out. Feet can be about hip width apart or toes closer together for stability. We have the option here to bring our left knee to our right hand, right hand to left knee. We have the option to hold. We have the option just to mountain climb or bringing our knees into our chest, alternating left and right. Loose neck, torso is parallel. Building as we go, little by little. Feeling the abdomen firing up for three, two, one, down dog, and child's pose. Coming all the way down, walking the hands out, sinking the hips back, rinsing out the wrists, making fists and rolling, maybe even bringing our hands behind our back. Well done. Pushing ourselves up, crossing our feet over. We'll come onto our glutes and onto our back, grabbing one more sip of water on the way. Good, feet come parallel, knees are at 90. We roll ourselves down gently, lowering the vertebra, shoulders and head. Lifting up into a hip bridge, pressing into the back of our head and our shoulders, lifting our hips, keeping our knees tracking over our ankles. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. Wiggling our feet together. And we have the option here to hold or to march the legs left to right, shifting our weight Lifting one leg at a time, keeping our hips high. Feeling the outer glutes fire up, the inner quadricep, thigh muscles to stabilize for three or two. One more each side. We lower down gently. We hug our knees into our chest, bringing our head off the mat, chin to chest. Bringing our head back to the mat. We'll slowly lower our knees left to right. So we can bring our arms out into a T. We can lower the knees, working the abdomen left to right, not worrying about touching the floor, making sure that we're focusing on the abdomen engaging. Whatever range of motion that might be for us, keeping our shoulder blades connected to the mat, Inhale, lower, exhale, center. Using the breath to power the motion. Tick tock, tick tock. For three. Two more, each side. And 
and one. Good, stack the feet over the hips, drive the heels up, toes are pointed towards our head. And with the option to scissor the legs left to right. We can keep our hands under our hips, keeping our feet flexed. Whatever range of motion is comfortable for us, listening to our lower backs. Three more each side. And we'll hug it in. Releasing the feet, rolling, pointing, flexing. Hugging the knees to our chest. From here, we'll do an open and close. Cactus arms and butterfly legs into our hug. So when we're ready, we can open up on the inhale, cactusing our arms, butterflying our legs. Exhale, we can hug ourselves back in. The inhale, opening. Exhale, hugging. Our speed, perhaps thinking about our intention that we set at the beginning of practice, thinking about what we need from the universe to be the authentic selves we want to be, loving, kind, compassionate, patient, whatever that might be, drawing all of those vibrations in towards us and then letting them out sharing our talents, our well-being with others, knowing that what we put out will come back to us. Three more. And we'll all meet up in our open position, cactus arms, butterfly legs, bottoms of our feet together. Bring our awareness to the breath. Bringing our awareness to the contact our body makes on the earth below. Staying here, or coming into Shavasana with our legs extended long, whatever feels good for us. To finish our practice and to allow the practice to imprint on our bodies and minds. Noticing the energy and the mood of the body and how it might have changed from the beginning of our practice. Taking the time that we need when we're ready, we can roll up into little Balls hugging our knees in, wiggling our feet, rocking, pulsing, rolling. Bringing awareness back to the physical sensations, the space around us. We roll over and up, finding our way into an easy seated pose.
giving thanks for our bodies, congratulating ourselves for the strength, the stability and resilience that we built here today, continuing to build on prior practices, creating space in our minds to process any emotions or thoughts that we may have had coming into the practice perhaps setting an intention for the hours and days ahead. Remembering that we can use our practice, our breath and the tools we learn on the mat to anchor us in moments of instability reminding ourselves of our strength and inner calm. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.